There he is, Goku, eating his mouse. Once again, I did have to thin it. I used mackerel juice. And this is his second feeding. So proud of him. He's doing well. I honestly am not sure how I'm going to get him off of scented mice. But to be honest, I'm really not too concerned just because um, it's not a large inconvenience for me. Um, but I do, I am interested in learning how to get them off of unscented mice because I do plan on breeding him. And I definitely do not want to be, um, selling baby hog noses that have to have scented. So. It's just amazing to watch him work turn that light off that might be stressing him I waited five days before attempting to feed him again and like I said this is his second time eating and that's the schedule I intend to keep him on until um He's at least six months. I'm going to just pay attention to him and see how he responds, really. He's working that mouse down. As you can see, I try to clear his area in which he eats. I don't like to move him because he tends to not eat for me and the breeder always said that they fed him in his enclosure I try to monitor the substrate to make sure that not much if any gets in his mouth but honestly if a piece or two gets in there I kind of just pray about it but snakes in the wild they get foreign matter into their bodies um, they digest fur, bones, organs, you know, the animal's completely whole with whatever's stuck to it or around it. Um, I try not to sweat small stuff, but I am still mindful, which is why I tend to watch him as he eats, just to make sure that not too big a piece gets stuck on the mouse. He's nearly done now. He, he takes it pretty quickly, in my opinion, for his size. It's on the last third of it now. Yummy, yummies. Most YouTube savvy people will fast forward through this. People who record this on their phones and don't want to edit, make sure you watch the whole thing. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm a little silly. But it's freaking amazing. I, I just think it's amazing. He's so tiny. And a force to be reckoned with. He's such a personality. Hog no snakes. I almost, I mean, I think I did the right thing getting my ball python first. But honestly, this is such a whole nother thing. Like, I've never seen a hog no snake up close. I've only seen them online. I've studied them and researched them, but. The personalities you read about compared to having one here it's just absolutely incredible I definitely still love my Python Navi I love our gecko lemonade LaShawn but this snake here is he really tugs on my heartstrings he's absolutely adorable he's so 
inquisitive. I love that he's diurnal and is up with me. Um, you know, he checks up on me. He doesn't really like it when I walk up to his cage suddenly, um, as most animals wouldn't. But he definitely looks for me. Like, if I'm around, I'll feel someone watching me. And his head is like, his face is pressed up to the side of the, his enclosure. And it's so funny. You'll just see his, like, nose and eyes staring at you. Like, such a peeping Tom. Ooh, he made a little lump in you, buddy. That was good. Because the first... Merely took that make a large lump, but I didn't want to give him a really large lump, a uh, large lump, a large meal due to the fact that he stopped eating um, for about two weeks. So I want to take it easy on him. Oh, I startled him. Okay, I'm going to let him de stress and leave him alone. I want that mouse to stay down. So I'm going to go ahead and put his decor back. This is about how he usually lives, he has a water dish. And his foliage. But I just wanted to share this with you. Oh my gosh, this is a long video. Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye.